Relevant Radio now presents the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass from the Chapel of the Nativity at Relevant Radio. Our Executive Director, Father Rocky. It's 12 noon on this Saturday, July 11th. Please stand and we'll recite the Angelus and then we'll have our Mass. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known unto us by the message of an angel, may by his passion cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Today, July 11th, the Church celebrates the memorial of St. Benedict, Abbot, founder of the Benedictine Religious Order. Our opening hymn today is number 523 in your hymnal, for all the saints, number 523. For all the saints who from their labors rest, who thee by faith be for the world confessed, thy name, O Jesus, be forever blessed. Alleluia, Alleluia. Thou wast their rock, their fortress, and their might. Thou, Lord, their captain in the well-fought fight. Thou, in the darkness, drear their one true light. Alleluia! Alleluia! There was a man, a venerable life, Benedict, blessed by grace and by name, who, leaving home and patrimony and desiring to please God alone, sought out the habit of holy living. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who made the abbot St. Benedict an outstanding master in the school of divine service, grant, we pray, that putting nothing before love of you, we may hasten with a loving heart in the way of your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Proverbs. My son, if you receive my words and treasure my commands, turning your ear to wisdom, inclining your heart to understanding, yes, if you call to intelligence and to understanding, raise your voice, if you seek her like silver and like hidden treasures, search her out. Then will you understand the fear of the Lord. The knowledge of God you will find. For the Lord gives wisdom. From his mouth come knowledge and understanding. He has counsel in store for the upright. He is the shield of those who walk honestly. 
guarding the paths of justice, protecting the way of his pious ones. Then you will understand rectitude and justice, honesty, every good path. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm is, I will bless the Lord at all times. I will bless the Lord at all times. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear and be glad. I will bless the Lord at all times. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. I will bless the Lord at all times. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy and your face may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard and from all his distress he saved him. I will bless the Lord at all times. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. I will bless the Lord at all times. Fear the Lord, you his holy ones, for naught is lacking to those who fear him. The great grow poor and hungry, but those who seek the Lord want for no good thing. I will bless the Lord at all times. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Blessed are the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Peter said to Jesus, We have given up everything and followed you. What will there be for us? Jesus said to them, Amen, I say to you, that you who have followed me in the new age, when the Son of Man is seated on his throne of glory, will yourselves sit on twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And everyone who has given up houses, or brothers, or sisters, or father, or mother, or children, or lands, for the sake of my name, will receive a hundred times more, and will inherit eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated for a moment. Today is the Feast of St. Benedict. He was the founder of the Benedictine Order. Here in the United States, there are a number of institutions named after him, Benedictine College in Kansas, and uh, the Benedictine College in Illinois, and Bennett Academy, and, and such. And it was one of the original uh, religious orders in the church, founded by a saint, led to other religious orders, the Carthusians and the Cistercians, uh, down through the ages. And then there were other religious orders founded by saints, the Dominicans by St. Dominic and the Franciscans by St. Francis. And then derivations of that in later life, the Jesuits by St. Um, uh, Ignatius of Loyola, the um, uh, Salesians by St. John Bosco and such. And what all of these approaches to life have in common is what are known as the uh, evangelical councils poverty, chastity, and obedience. And typically in a religious order, a man or a woman who embraces this vocation makes a commitment for life after a period of discernment, and they may publicly take these vows to promise to be poor and chaste and obedient. Why do they call these three virtues the evangelical counsels? Because it empowers a person or capacitates that person to evangelize. And the way I like to describe it is the virtue of poverty or living in a poor and simple way makes you credible. The virtue of chastity, which is not just the regulation of the sexual appetite, but is broader than that. It's about self-control and discipline, allows you to persevere in the face of difficulties and sufferings. And finally, the virtues of obedience allows you to be an agent of God's miracles. So poverty makes you credible, Chastity allows you to persevere, and obedience allows you, allows God to work miracles through you. 
These are the evangelical councils. Why does poverty make you credible? Because if someone is using the church or the name of God to line their pockets with cash or a plush life or preserve for themselves, people don't believe that. They see through it. And that's why it's very important for those who are involved in the apostle of simple and poor lives. And that can be a challenge depending on the circumstances. It can be a challenge in the United States of America, which is very, very wealthy. It's not so much a challenge when you're working in evangelization in third world countries. And chastity, how does that allow you to persevere? Because the life of an apostle, the life of someone who does evangelization, will necessarily encounter difficulties, setbacks, even physical or moral sufferings. And the person who's chaste has also got that sort of discipline, like a high carbon alloy steel that is tough and resilient. And it's about self-control, it's about temperance. And uh, that's, that's very necessary to engage in the apostle evangelization. And finally, obedience allows God to work miracles through you. Obedience, sometimes people think people who are obedient are weak-willed or uh, perhaps not very intelligent, that they can't think for themselves. I know a number of fairly successful lay people who have a very hard time with obedience. They, they kind of characteristic as being weak-willed, or not very intelligent, and they're going to think for themselves, thank you. But it's quite the reverse. A person who can be obedient is, has to be very strong-willed. They have to have the strength of will to overcome themselves. Think about that. And they have to be very intelligent because they have to understand themselves and know themselves. And they reach a level where they can be obedient to people who they know may not even be virtuous but they are speaking for God in that instance. And that's why our Lord said in the Old Testament, do as the Pharisees or Sadducees teach you, but don't do as they behave. So our Lord was defending that right order. So in uh, the whole patrimony or the history of the church, God has raised up these wonderful institutions of religious orders, the, the first, really the first of which was, um, I'm gonna say, um, the Benedictines. And you have those uh, vows of poverty, chastity, and obedience. So what are lay people to do? Well, they don't necessarily take vows, um, and they don't separate themselves from the world. But if they want to be an evangelist, they also have to seek those values, being poor in spirit, chaste in practice, mind, body, and soul, and obedient in, um, in all their ways. Now let us stand for the prayers of the faithful. Gathered together here as children of our Father in heaven, let us bring our petitions before him with confidence. We pray for the church, the spotless bride of Christ, and his mystical body, so that one day all Christians, Catholics, Protestants, and Orthodox may be united in the one true church Jesus founded. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, for the bishop of this diocese, David, and for my prelate, Fernando, and for bishops, priests, and deacons everywhere, that the Lord might bless them with an abundance of grace and that they may seek Christ, find Christ, and love Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those suffering in any way, especially for the sick, the dying, the grieving, the homeless, the unemployed, those who are in prison, those who don't have a driver's license, those who feel left out or understood for whatever reason, for people in nursing homes or hospitals who aren't allowed to have visitors. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For refugees and immigrants anywhere in the world who might be anxious about their future, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the safety and protection of all unborn children and for the support of their mothers and fathers, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase in vocations to serve the church and all souls with joy and simplicity, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Relevant Radio, for our listeners, our benefactors, our board of directors, and our associates, that all of us working together might bring the good news and hope of Christ to ever more souls, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Dear Father in heaven, we believe in your power and we trust in your mercy. We ask you our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness, we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Humble spirit and country. Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sins. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look kindly, Lord, upon these holy offerings, which we make in honor of St. Benedict, and grant that by following his example and seeking you, we may merit the gifts of unity in your service and of peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom he made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which he poured forth, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks, you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and David, our Bishop, Fernando, my prelate, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. May this make the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ for your life. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. For those of you listening on the radio or watching at home, this is a good moment to pray a spiritual communion. I wish my Lord to receive you with the purity, humility, and devotion with which your most holy mother received you, with the spirit and fervor of the saints. Our communion on fun. This is the steward faithful and prudent, whom the Lord set over his household, to give them their allowance of food at the proper time. Jesus, we adore you, who in your love divine conceal your mighty Godhead in forms of bread and wine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O Jesus, we adore you, our victim and our priest, whose precious blood and body become our sacred feast. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine.
Oremus. Let us pray. Having received this pledge of eternal life, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that attentive to the teaching of St. Benedict, we may faithfully serve your designs and love one another with fervent charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. And now we'll pray to Our Lady of Good Health that we all stay healthy in this pandemic, and we pray for an end to the pandemic. O Lady of Good Health, our merciful Father chose you to be a powerful intercessor in times of trouble and woe. As in past centuries, when you've interceded to end contagious diseases, we implore you now to end the coronavirus, which is damaging the health of many and spreading fear in our communities. Teach us not to be afraid, to be courageous and generous in offering assistance to others, and to live joyfully in the state of grace. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us now and at the hour of our death. Amen. So St. Benedict and the Evangelical Councils, Poverty, Chastity, and Obedience. And each one of us, no matter what our state in life, can live that poverty in spirit, being poor in spirit. And all the way in the Old Testament times, God had given the Israelites some very clear guidance on that matter, to get in the habit of tithing, giving 10% of your earnings uh, to the support of the church or to charity, um, and the 90% stays with you. It's a very good practice, and I've known that uh, Whenever people have done that, God has always blessed them. And please consider keeping Relevant Radio in your list of important works to support. Please be sure to join us again at the same time tomorrow on the Relevant Radio app, online at relevantradio.com, and on all our local Relevant Radio stations. I hope you're having a great summer. I certainly am. Hail, Holy Queen, enthroned above, O Maria. Hail, Mother of mercy and of love, O Maria. Triumph, all ye cherubim, sing with us, ye seraphim. Heaven and earth resound the hymn, Salve, 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 Regina.